The water from a lake or a pond may contain various impurities and germs of various diseases. The impurities from the water may be removed by decantation, filtration, boiling and using chemicals. Let us discuss these methods. Activity 1. Take two glasses marked as A and B. Fill glass A with tap water and glass B with water from a pond. Suspend a small piece of alum tied with a thread in each of the glasses. Keep both the glasses undisturbed for some time. After an hour, you will see that something has settled down in both the glasses. These are the impurities in the water. Now slowly tilt the glass and pour out the clear water in another glass. This process is called decantation. Activity 2 Take an earthenware pot with a hole at the base. Put some washed and cleaned gravel inside the pot. Make layers of gravel about 7 cm thick in the pot. Put some clean sand to about 7 cm thickness. Place this pot on a clean vessel. Put some water from a pond into the pot. Drops of water come out from the base of the pot through the hole. Observe the water that collects in the vessel. It is clear but not safe for drinking. The water we get after decantation and filtration is not fit for drinking, even though it may look clean. This water is still contaminated with germs that we cannot see. The germs from this water can be removed by boiling. Boil the water for 15 to 20 minutes. Cool the water and filter it. Now we get safe water to drink. We can also get safe drinking water by using chemicals. Let us see how. Take a glass filled with water. Dissolve a tablespoon of bleaching powder into it. Add 3 tablespoons of this solution into a bucket full of water and mix well. Allow the water to stand undisturbed for about 30 minutes. Bleaching powder kills the germs in the water and makes it safe for drinking. This method is called chlorination of water. The water supplied to our houses by the water department is cleaned by this method.